What up guys, Miles Mancinelli here. Today we're going to be learning part two of We Are the Champions. So where we left off was right here. Okay, now all you're going to do is basically play the same thing that we played for verse one except with some variation. Okay, so you're going to move up to your E flat. So it's E flat with your middle finger on the one, on the two, you move down with your thumb to the C, one, two, three, and then on four, you move all the way up and you roll into a C minor chord. So it's C with your thumb, E flat with your index finger, G with your middle finger, and then the high C with your pinky. And then you hit the low C with your thumb again on the five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and in your left hand, you're just playing a low C. One, two, three, four, five, six. Together, it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? On the second bar, on the one, you hit that low C again in your left hand with your pinky. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So for six beats, in your left hand, you're just holding that low C. And it's in your right hand where you go one, two, three, four, five, six. And all that is, is a G minor seven, right? So it's a G with your thumb, B flat with your index finger, D with your middle finger, and then the F with your pinky. One, arpeggiate on 4, 5, 6, the G, the B flat, and then the D. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now going back to the beginning of verse 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, And you repeat that first section, the except this time, instead of rolling into the C minor up top, you just hit the E flat, the G, and the C at the same time. So it's as opposed to, okay, it's not you arpeggiating the C minor, it's you breaking it up. So one. Starting from the previous measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then in your left hand on the one, you're gonna hit the low C again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So instead of holding the low C throughout the entire bar, you instead play it for three beats and then hit it again for the next three beats. One, two, Five, six. And that's during one, two, three, four, five, six. All that is in your right hand, it's again the G minor seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. The difference here, you're not arpeggiating up to the D. You're just arpeggiating the G and the B flat. And you can accomplish that because on the fourth beat, it's a rest. So one, two, three, four, five, six, as opposed to earlier, which was one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so hands together, just this bar, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, we move to that C minor. One, 
breaking up the C minor in a different way. In your left hand, all you're playing is the C, then the high C on one, two, three, four, five, six. So low C on the one, then the high C on three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in your right hand, you're just playing this melody. which is E flat with your middle finger, to the C with your thumb, to the G with your pinky, to the E flat with your middle finger. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, you just stay on that C in your left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, five, six, in your left hand, just the C octave, broken up, and in your right hand, it's one, two, three, rest, five, six, just like it was earlier. Okay, so I'm going to start at the beginning of verse two, just so that we can recap what we have so far. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, Just repeating the first bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the third time you come up to this high C minor, you roll into it. So the first time, you roll into it, arpeggio. The second time, it's just breaking up the chord. And the third time, you're rolling into it again. So the first and the third time are identical. One, two, three, four. Okay, and this is getting us out of the C minor to G minor section. So that's just one, two, three on the G minor. And on four, five, six, you're hitting the high C in your left hand and arpeggiating the G, the B flat, the D in your right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that leads up to. And this section's a little bit different than how we played it the first time around in verse 1. Okay? So, once again, we're moving up to the E-flat like we did earlier in the song. Uh, and in your left hand, you're just doing the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the E-flat. In your right hand, you start on the G with your index finger on the 1. On the 2, you move down to the E-flat with your thumb. On the 4, you move up to a G with your index finger, B flat with your middle finger, and E flat with your pinky. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right, so you're ending the 5 with that E flat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Combined with the left hand, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you hit that low E flat. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So in the left hand, the rhythm changes slightly. You're playing one, two, three, four, five, six. It's kind of weird. Listen to this. One, two, sounds a little bit off, like maybe Freddie slipped a little bit when he was playing the piano, but this is what it sounds like. So it's one, two, three, to C, E flat, B e flat, C, thumb, index, middle, pinky, one, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of interesting. 
and then on the one of the next measure, you again hit that E flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in your right hand, you're playing again the E flat chord, but you're breaking it up. It's G with your index finger, E flat with your thumb, B flat with your middle finger, and then back to the G with your index finger. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's doing this thing in these two measures where starting on the low E flat, going to the high E flat, and then pretty much immediately going back to the low. So starting from the previous measure, measure 48. One, One of the next measure, you're still just holding that E flat from the previous measure. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It makes a little more sense in context. And the context is you playing an A flat chord. One, two, three, and then arpeggiating up through it. One, flat, C, E flat, and accomplish that with your thumb, your index, or your middle. Or I suppose if it's easier you could do your thumb, your middle, and pinky. But I'm doing thumb, index, middle. Okay? So from measure 47, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. early in the song to the so this time on the F7 you're instead move of uh, instead of moving down to the F you're moving up to the F octave one two three four five six one two three four five six moving up just as before we're playing I do want to make one note. In the original tutorial, I actually taught you this part slightly wrong. What I played was... Which is pretty close and a bit misleading because you might think that's how the original song goes. But actually, instead of playing an E flat in this section, Freddie is playing an A flat. Right? So it's... Fundamentally, the note on top is the same, but the root in your right hand is actually an A flat instead of the E flat. So it's one and two and three and four and five and six and, and then this part's the same, the B flat seven. One and two and three and four and five and six and as soon as I re-listened to the original recording, I heard that something was off there. I changed to the A flat and that is definitely playing there it has uh, a better place in the song than playing the E flat so yeah anyways moving on that was a bit of a tangent we're now in the chorus two uh, and this is similar and the chorus three is similar too when compared to the first chorus right so it's one two three four five six so you know how to do that also know how to play the A minor. The only difference this time through the chorus is when you move to the D minor, you're moving up to a D, F with your index finger, A with your middle finger, high D with your pinky. from this D minor, and then you're moving it up two inversions to A, D, F, and A. Okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then again, you're just playing your flat, 
do it again. This time, when you go to the A minor, it's a bit different. One, two, three, and four, five, six. All that is, you're playing the one, the two like you normally would. One, two, but on the three, you're moving up to an A minor. E, A, C, E. This is a bit tricky, and then you're quickly moving up your thumb and your pinky to the F. So the A and the C are staying the same. Three and four and five and six and... So on the five, you're moving down to that root position A minor. One and two and three and four and five and six and... A little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Then we move to the B flat, like we did in the first chorus. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the only difference here is on the three, don't be tempted to play this on the four. You might be tempted to play one, two, three, four, five, six. But no, what you're playing is B flat, one, two, and then immediately on the three, you're moving up an octave. Three, like you did in the first chorus. This time, instead of going back into the pre-verse like we did the first time we got to this section, you just go straight into chorus 3, which is... So you're playing the 1 and the 2 like you normally would on the F. 1, 2, but on 3, you immediately move up to... On three, it's this inversion of F. And then on five, six, you move up two inversions. So C, F, A, C. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in your left hand, you're playing an F octave. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put together very slowly, it's one, two, Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We move to the A minor, but we're doing our little like we did earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Then you're moving to your D minor like you normally would. This inversion. did in the previous chorus. One, two, and three, and four, five, six. Okay? So it's one, two, and three, and four. It's kind of weird. You're coming in on and. One, two, and three, and four. The A, the D, the F, the A. left hand's doing the same thing it normally does on the D minor in this section. One, two, three, four, four, five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it gets substantially easier. A minor slightly different, it's one, two, and you just hit the high A minor, which is E, 
A minor, C, and E. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in your left hand, you're still playing the same pattern, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? to the B flat. One, two, and, and, four, five, six. So again, it's one of the weird bits where you come in on and. One, two, and, and, four. You're just moving up an octave. That's all you're doing on the B flat. One, two, and, and, four, five, six. And then when we move down, it's one, on four, five, six, you move up an octave and then you throw in the seven, the E flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you just play the regular. And the song in the suspended state, so it never really resolves. But if you really want to resolve the song, I would recommend just resolving it. To an F. But that's not really in the spirit of things. So, just let that nice C chord ring out. Okay? So I think it would probably be wise to review this last chorus because it's a little bit tricky. So I'm going to play it very, very slowly. Okay? And actually, I'm just going to play the right hand at first and then the left hand, and then we're going to put the two together. Okay? So one, two, three, just the right hand. Augmented, or G flat diminished seventh. Yeah, not augmented. Anyways, and then the left hand is going to be uh, a little bit tricky in that there's a lot of variation. I would recommend looking at the sheet music just to double check. But um, I'll play it for you here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, putting them together very slowly, and then we'll be done, I promise. One, two, three, four, five, six. of the song is how we would normally play that section. And again, just a reminder, we want to end on that C chord. And it's a, it's a C suspended fourth, seventh. I don't know. I'm not the best with chords, but you know, that's kind of what it looks like to me. It's a nice sort of suspended chord. It definitely sounds suspended. Anyways, so that is the entirety of We Are The Champion. If you made it to this point in this video, then you, I suppose you probably finished the song, which is incredible. You know, pat yourself on the back. It's not an easy song, so more power to you. Um, honestly, it took me like a week and a half to learn it. 
which is a lot longer than normal. I can usually learn one of these songs, you know, not to brag or anything, but in like two or three days. But this one, damn, Freddie's got some variation. It's crazy. And just a reminder, there is sheet music for this song up on my website. But unfortunately, I'm having some sort of uh, issues with WordPress right now. I might have to think of like an alternative place to upload the sheet music. Yeah, I have it on my computer. <laughs> it's wasting away there. Anyways, thank you for watching. Again, my name is Miles Mancinelli. Don't you forget it. Subscribe, like, comment. I try to reply to all the comments I possibly can. I really appreciate feedback, positive or negative. If you got something out of this video, you might consider becoming a patron on my Patreon page. It's going to be patreon.com slash Mancinelli. Uh, currently, I have two donors, and there are some benefits to being donors. I'm working on a voting mechanism for people who donate. So pretty cool. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Happy Tuesday night, and I will talk to you next time. All right. Bye, guys. Fucking shit. <sighs> Somebody just knock.